What's up guys, how you doing today? It's me. <clears throat> uh, I got some for you. The history of combat weapons. Well, of today's modern weapons, such as the AK-47, the RPK, the uh, RPG-7, the M-16, those weapons have been in combat plenty of times with, um, with a number of nations. Uh, the AK-47 made its combat debut during the Vietnam War. And it was used extensively in um, in crises in Libya and um, well, actually, crises in the Middle East and fighting between factions in Lebanon to uh, get full control of Beirut and. Throughout the, the 1980s and well into the 1990s, the AK-47 became the symbol of of Soviet dominance in the 19 in the 1960s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. When when this weapon was developed by a tank sergeant in 19 <clears throat> excuse me by a tank sergeant in 1947. Mikhail Kalashnikov, the man who developed the AK-47, the next Soviet weapon, the, the RPK. The RPK is a heavy caliber machine gun based around the AK-47, but it has a high rate of fire comparing to the American 50 caliber machine gun and the 7.62 millimeter machine gun, the M60. And the RPK was used extensively. And the third to be used by terrorist groups and through many major battles such as in Afghanistan, the Mujahideen versus the, the Soviets, the RPG-7, the uh, rocket-propelled grenade launcher. It was symbolized in Rambo First Blood Part Two. If you had saw the, the movie poster of uh, Sylve <coughs> uh, Sylvester Stallone armed with an RPG-7 in Rambo First Blood Part 2. And it, that was an excellent movie. And it was used in many skirmishes and used by terrorist organizations such as ISIL and I <coughs> such as ISIL and Al-Qaeda throughout, throughout the 21st century. The American M-16 was in action during the Vietnam War, um, Grenada, Lebanon, Panama, Desert Storm, uh, Afghanistan, Iraq, it's a very good weapon, but it had its teething problems. The gun would just simply would jam. And they they put out a magazine, well, a comic book called Sweet 16 to teach our soldiers on how to clean their rifle. Because their rifle would jam or would worse, explode in their face. So... What's the worst thing that could happen in combat? Uh, anyway, I just would like to say thank you very much for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, see you later.